I know you wrote the book on Kenny Stabler. Uh, help me with this. He went into the Hall of Fame posthumously, but uh, is he supposed to get a Hall of Fame jacket and ring? Is the family supposed to get that, and they haven't received that from the Hall of Fame? Well, I feel this is one of the, the dumber rules in sports that basically – the Hall of Fame has a policy where they don't give out the jacket and ring to the family if someone is inducted posthumously like Stabler was, which just seems kind of cold-hearted and cheap to me. That's just me. I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. If the family wants a jacket and ring, give him the jacket and ring. It's his family, and he obviously is not there to accept it, so give it to the family. But they, they, have, they say they have a longstanding rule that that isn't the case. My problem is it just comes off as a very sort of corporate-y, uh, no-soul kind of decision when it was, to me, such an easy fix. You just give the family the ring or the jacket, and then you can get some positive publicity out of it. You look like you care. and But they, they t- take this opposite route, which to me is kind of kind of crazy. Yeah, but Mike, but I don't understand this. I, I Like, what what is it to gain if you're the Hall of Fame? You You come off so small. That's the point. I don't know, Dan. It, it it just doesn't make any sense. And with the NFL, the NFL has always said that they don't run the Hall of Fame, but basically they are very, very close. They're symbiotic. The NFL will deny this, but they are. And it's not like Dan. The NFL is a little short on money. You know. Well, the I mean? ratings are like, down, Mike. Oh, <laughs> they still got a few billion somewhere yeah. stashed away. They can afford a few jackets and rings. They could do. They could turn this Sad. around pretty quickly, but they chose not to. Just bad decision. The Dan Patrick Show weekday mornings on audience.